Well, to me, it's been a light motive in the sense that um, the global soft power relies on the ability to reconcile ecology and economy. And to me, this is the single most important economic um, objective, if you will. Say China, for example, they understand that if they don't have economic growth, they will collapse. But at the same time, they understand that if they have another environmental catastrophe, they have the so-called cancer villages and the like, they will collapse as well. So the future of the global community is to reconcile ecology and economy. And there's only one way to do that, and it is entrepreneurship, uh, bottom-up entrepreneurship. There's no other way. It can't be global policy. It has failed successively. Uh, you've heard of the COP, COP21, COP22. The reason that COP22 has already passed as like the one between 21 and 23 and nothing has changed is that it doesn't un onboard entrepreneurs. So if we want to have economy and ecology at the same time, we need entrepreneurs and there's no other way. Well, recently I've been told, I think yesterday evening, that there were more than uh, 60 or even 70 citizenships uh, at this summit. So it's constantly uh, increasing in terms of diversity. And I think that the, the Zermatt summit has really become global in the sense that it connects people of completely different horizons and traditions and even political backgrounds. And that's what I like with it. I mean, there's this proverb, this uh, word of wisdom that says, uh, if everybody is thinking the same in the room, somebody isn't thinking. Uh, when you gather people from different perspectives and different cultures, you, you can be quite sure that nobody will be thinking the same, and that's the best way to address problems. So that's what I like with this, uh, with this summit. People don't think the same. Well, you see today there are like collapsologists. Uh, you've got uh, people who are claiming that the world will end in 15 years. Uh, the Zermatt Summit was made uh, to give hope to people, to demonstrate that yes, we can have uh, economic growth and uh, the preservation of biodiversity. So, so my core message is nature and employment, you can have both. And you must have both because there is no other way. Nature is the best economic model in the world. So we should copy nature uh, to produce wealth. And of course, my core message with my foundation, Bioneria, is that one day heads of state would rather find biodiversity than oil on their territory. Um, knowledge is the new oil, there's no doubt about that. Knowledge is the new oil and nature is the largest deposit. And that, that is my message.